Okay, I've got my uh, Bamboo Labs A1 Mini with the, uh, what do they call it, AMS Lite instead of the regular AMS. Normally, of course, this AMS four spool color change sits over on this side and uh, takes up more space than the printer. So I wanted to see if I could mount it vertically without altering anything, and yes, I can. I made a simple frame out of uh, some old um, oh, so wood out of shelving, shelving wood had laying around in some corner brackets and uh, simply mounted the MS up there. Now the only thing I'd really like to change at some point is to flip the whole AMS over because right now this is one, two, three, and four and it'd be nice just to flip them so they read right. But the only reason I can't is because the uh, cable that comes out of the AMS isn't long enough if I flip it. Whereas if I leave it this way, it'll reach. So someday I hope to find uh, whatever type of connector that is. It's a four pin connector on the end there. If I can find the mating halves to that, I can make up an extension cable and then uh, flip that. Um, vertically, you can see I got lots of space. Uh, Widthwise, I really haven't got the room to uh, be giving up for this kind of thing. Especially since I probably won't use the AMS all that often. Um, let's see, let's go let's go freehand so I can get closer. Right now the camera is clear across the room to get this in. There, I got you free now. So you can see that it's just some uh, particle board, fairly thick. I put a little bit of a uh, foam type material on the bottom just to uh, so it would sit nice on this tabletop. There you can see there's some metal brackets. It's just another piece of the same type of wood there from the back side. And uh, a couple of screws, one there and one there. And it just hangs the whole AMS unit that way. All the hoses are long enough to reach. And the system does work because they just printed their speed benchy, the three color speed benchy that comes on the uh, card with it. You can see it, uh, I haven't done any cleanup or anything, there is just turned out beautiful. I mean uh, super fast print, super clean print and granted in this layer change is the simplest you can get because it prints all in one color, so only had to make three color changes. You know it's not like uh, some of the tough ones I wanted to see if everything would work, and it did. And it, you know, cut, did all that. Um, the only other thing you might be interested in also is I'm uh, mostly running in LAN mode right now because I don't have a smartphone that can read the QR code, so I can't get into any other functions. So rather than continually plugging that small uh, mini SD card in there, I had this adapter from my old Creality printer days. I think it was the uh, S10, S510 or something like that. You know, the one that's a 20, 20 inch cube, 500 millimeter cube printed, the big one. Anyway, plug that in there, just brought it right around to the front and stuck it there so I can put in a normal full size uh, SD card. And that way also, since I'll be plugging in and out with the SD card a lot, um, if I ruin the connections or anything, it won't be the ones in the machine, so I'm thinking it'll make everything last a little bit longer. But uh, with this just sitting the way it is, um, I'm able to print full height with this all the way up. It doesn't hit the reels and uh, wouldn't be in the way of the print. Everything clears and sits nicely that way. So if some of you guys are trying to figure out if you've got vertical space, I've had a lot of Delta printers. I mean, I've had over 24 printers since I started printing way back in uh, 2015. So I've got usually have a lot of uh, vertical height for things like Delta printers and stuff. But um, you start eating the space up widthwise, that becomes a problem. So just thought I would share this uh, simple little solution for mounting the uh, AMS unit vertically. Uh, instead of horizontally.